Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside and Terror. Hope everybody's well. So, I'm starting readings for January 2022. I'm kind of wondering who hit the fast forward button because it does not feel like 2022 should only be days away. I know, right? It's crazy. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to bring back a golden oldie read from like the early, early days of the channel. I haven't done this one in quite a while. I don't know how long this is going to take. So, my Capricorn friends, brothers, and soul sisters, bear with me. All right, because I'm going to say it again. I haven't done this one in a minute. But if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do what if you choose to do with the message. Give them better cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, hey, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign reading if you think it might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. I might even play out from the perspective of cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at the first turn table table. Everybody's always welcome at my table. I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello. Uh, I have open comments back up for now. If somebody decides to be a jerk in my comments, I will disable them again. And to any of you who um, turned in a jerk for being a jerk, I appreciate it wholeheartedly. If you're new here, think we might vibe and stuff we might get along you want to come back more often you can hit the subscribe button the notification bell that'd be super cool to you if you're returning welcome back it's always nice to see a familiar face anybody can hit the like button at any time it all helps the channel it all helps the videos to be circulated for those who might need the messages so with that we're gonna go ahead and get started do a little you and yours reading all right Go ahead and tip down. All right. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, and Ice Queen, messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their person of interest. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask that you help me use it to bring Capricorn to their highest possible spiritual good and put them in their highest possible spiritual path. All right. I'm going to get this out of the way for now. Get this out of the way for now. Your energy. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? What do you think of the person you're dealing with? What are your intended actions of the person that you're dealing with? What's the potential outcome of the situation? Oh, Bottom the deck, two of pentacles, there's a choice to be made, somebody out there is juggling! Alright, I'm going to pause because i got to straighten this deck, so just hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Trying not to do reversals this time around. This rogue card just happened to be in the witch's tarot intermingled in there. If this is out of my gilded, I usually use that one for the water signs. So, we could be dealing with a water sign. I feel like this kind of belongs in the read somehow, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Some of you may be in contemplation mode, could be dealing with a water sign. I'm going to set it back over here, though. Just, just so we know. Because I believe all things happen for a purpose, and nothing happens by accident. So, all right. The person you are dealing with. Their current energy. Could be into some toxic stuff. Could just be a strong pull. They could just be a Capricorn. I don't know. <laughs> I 
thoughts about you, feelings about you, actions toward you. What? Potential outcome. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, page of cups. They might have something to say. All right, let's get a little bit of clarity, shall we? What in the current energy for Capricorn? What's up with this King of Pentacles? You're stable. You're solid. Probably got good money coming in. Working your butt off, Eight of Pentacles. Putting energy into something, probably working a lot. Concentrating a lot on work, money. All right. Thoughts on the person you're dealing with. Why the hanged man? Why the hanged man? Strengthen the Six of Swords. You could think they're holding back. You could think they're in the process of moving on. One more. Could be a Leo. You could view them as a strong person trying to battle some inner demons. Queen of Pentacles, but you still you still view them as a catch or potential match. Weird. You think they could potentially be a match? What's the world card for for your feelings? Your feelings about them? Why the world? Could be you want to give them the world. Two of Wands. He's holding a world. Okay, so... That King of Cups has one hell of a poker face. Just throwing that out there. They don't show emotion. It's there, but they don't necessarily show it. Now, this is weird. Ace of Cups reversed because I turned these all into the upright. That's weird. I was very diligent about that. So if it came out in the reverse, we'll read it. But... Halt and completion. Not, not sure about the cup. You want to give them the world, but you're not sure about the cup. They may have one heck of a poker face. All right, what's the future actions toward this person? Why the death card? Why the death card? Death speaks of endings and new beginnings, so. Wheel of Fortune. Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. Oh no, okay. Oh yes, oh no. Why does this suddenly feel like an ultimatum? One more. Death. Oh, you want to know what's up? 
Mm. You're coming after clarity, like either I think, either you tell me what's up, or we figure out what's up, or this is gonna come to an end. It's decision time. Okay, one on the outcome. Why the five of cups? That's sadness and regret. Ah! This is only a potential outcome. King of Swords. King of Swords is in the reverse. It flew out, spun around, landed in the reverse. No joke, yo. I don't know if you guys caught that on the camera, but that's what happened. Oh, snap. Hmm. Oh, snap. One more. I tried to go for a positive read. I did. One more. Give me one more. It's like attitude. Like, maybe I ought not done that. Queen of Cups. The love is there, but oh snap. All right, talk to me about the shadow side for the person's current energy. Talking about the shadow side. What's up with the shadow side? Okay, whoa, 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 okay. Two of rods. Sorry, three of rods. Four of wands, seven of swords. They're keeping something from you. There's a dark side here. There's a dark side here. They could have an unstable past. They could have done some shady things. Maybe they're waiting to tell you or waiting to reveal it. They're currently stable. They want stability. No one more on that. Eight of Swords, they're anxious. They are anxious. All right, talk to me about this Ace of Pentacles. What they think of you, Ten of Cups. You're a new start. You're the road to happiness. Why the Nine of Cups for how they feel about you or toward you? Why the Nine of Cups? You it. You're independent. You're happy. You're independent. You're happy. You got it going on. The lovers reverse. They're afraid they're not going to get picked. They don't know if their cup is worthy of you. Oh, wow. They want to offer, but they don't know if it's worthy. Well, snap. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, okay. Future actions is the Eight of Cups. Why the Eight of Cups? Knight of Cups. Eight of Wands. Two of swords. Oh my gosh. I don't think they do ultimatum as well. 
That knight is walking away. Why the Ten of Wands for potential outcome here? Why the Ten of Wands? Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Definitely going to be some speaking. I don't know if this walk away is permanent, but there's definitely fast forward movement, fast communication. Okay. It landed. They're just half spun. Nine of cups. Uh -huh. I would not throw out the ultimatum, Capricorn. I wouldn't. Here's the thing about passion and passionate communication and wands. Sometimes it's confrontational. The release of the burden is also the getting off getting off of your chest. Fools at the bottom of the deck. Let's throw one more. What can we do about this outcome? What can we do about this outcome? Seven of Cups. Oh, which cup? Which path are we going to take here? Which option do we have? I'm hearing choose your cup wisely. Ace of Wands. There's potential for a new start. Ace of Pentacles, guy, okay. Queen of Swords upright. It's time for an honest conversation here. I'm going to urge you to not be confrontational when you approach this person about this. If they have something they need to tell you, if they have something they need to get off their chest, if they... He's into it. They're, they're afraid. They're anxious. They want to be good enough for you. They're afraid that they're not. And if this is approached inappropriately or incorrectly, it may not go well. This is the potential to be something beautiful and amazing. This is like a power couple here. There's huge potential here. King and Queen of Pentacles, King and Queen of Cups. This king of swords upright and this queen of sorry, this king of swords reverse and this queen of swords upright. There could be a clash. If somebody comes into this with a bad attitude, it could be a clash. Like a bad clash. So I think it's all about the approach. It's all about the words you use. Alright, let's get a wisdom. And a moon. All right, let's get a wisdom. Let's get a wisdom. I'm having fun with this. I haven't done this one in a minute. I haven't done this one in a minute. It kind of makes a card cluster on the table. And it... Tick-tock. Oh. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Number 30. 
30 is divisible by 3 and 10, so number of divinity. And also the num endings and new beginnings, okay. Next chapters, number 30. I can find it. I know it's here. Timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. Okay. Love, the fulfillment of... I'm going to read the relationship message for these. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive systems have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be court, coursed. Everything has its season. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give it and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks accordingly to the beating of your heart. In perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know love is always on time? All right, gang. You know what? I'm going to do a quick moonology. Why not? I like these. I got these for Christmas. These are super cool. All right, moonology. Don't let your, let your past hold you back. Hey, cross watchers, this one might be for you. And remember, place yourself wherever you see fit. All right, south node. Hmm. The south node, like the north node, is a karmic point, but it's opposite to the north node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there's a chance that old age programming, age old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might. Do you feel stuck in something? This card will often come as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating, even toxic. It suggests that someone, you even, needs to be released that there's some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be stored out, sorted out. Sorry, I'm a little bit dyslexic. One thing is for sure. When you get this card, you're being challenged to make some changes, even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. Somebody needed it. All right. Capricorn, thanks for hanging out. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And if you are receiving this before January 1st, have a wonderful New Year. Or hell, even after the 1st of January. Have a wonderful 2022. Peace, love, and light, friends.